Rigsvula verses 8 through to 13 of the Ben Wagoner translation. He started to grow and to thrive well. There was wrinkled skin on his hands, his knuckles were twisted. His fingers thick, his face ugly, his spine crooked, his heels long. He began to try his strength further, to bind bast, to pack up burdens. He carried brushwood home all the dreary day. A wandering woman came to the farmyard. Mud was on the soles of her feet, her arm was sunburned, her nose was hooked. She said her name was Thea. Furthermore, she sat down in the middle of the bench. The son of the house sat next to her. Thrall and Thea talked and conversed. They bedded down through busy days. They bore children, lived together and were content. I think they were named Shriek and Cowherd, Rude and Horsefly, Horny, Stinker, Log, Fatty, Sluggish and Grizzled, Stooped and Thick Legs. They put up fences, spread dung on fields, took care of the pigs, tended the goats and dug turf. The daughters were log and clumsy, lumpy calves and eagle beak, noisy and concubine, oak stake, tattered blouse and crane legs. The families of thralls are descended from their 